Thank you, Mr. Chair, and good morning. Today is our fourth hearing in this select committee. In our previous three hearings, we've heard my Republican colleagues and their witnesses downplay the danger of extremism in America, suggesting that the 2020 election was stolen and claimed that January 6 was anything other than an attempted insurrection, anything other than domestic terrorism. From what I can glean about today's hearing, and I'm gonna say glean because my Republican colleagues don't really want us to work together. They give us the bare minimum notice for hearings, no subject indicated. We learn who the hearing witnesses is from British tabloids. That's not normal in the House of Representatives. Mun must wonder, are Republicans scared of giving us the information so that we can do our own due diligence on these conspiracy theories, these ideas that they wanna put forward? Indeed, today's hearing will be more of the same. Perhaps they're too far gone to realize that in fact this hearing is evidence, as if we need it anymore, that MAGA Republicans are a threat to the rule of law in America. Less than two months ago, former President Trump, facing mounting investigations into his many alleged crimes, declared that, quote, Republicans in Congress should defund the DOJ and the FBI until they can come to their senses. And we all know that when Trump says jump, the Republicans in the House say, how high? So here we are on police week, watching House Republicans jump to lay the foundation to defund law enforcement. My colleagues on the far right are on a mission to attack, discredit, and ultimately dismantle the FBI. This is defund the police on steroids. As part of their mission, my colleagues have brought in these former agents, men who lost their security clearances because they were a threat to our national security, who out of malice or ignorance or both have put partisan agenda above the oath they swore to serve this country and protect its national security. It is everyday American taxpayer who is bearing the burden of this circus-like hearing. A year ago, Republicans promised that if they won control of Congress, they would focus on kitchen table issues like bringing down inflation. Now we got a bait and switch. Instead of trying to make their constituents' lives better, they're wasting time and taxpayer dollars on endless, fruitless string of partisan investigations. Instead of working to make America more secure, they're manufacturing opportunities to attack law enforcement agencies even and especially on the same week that we are remembering those law enforcement personnel who lost their lives in the line of duty. We are assembled today to hear conspiracy theories and speculations. We're going to hear alternative facts, actions and events taken far out of context. When they lack support for a baseless allegation, get this, my Republican friends will cite the absence of evidence of evidence of a cover-up. And any suggestion that Chairman Jordan's witnesses are anything but victims of an oppressive dystopian government will be met with mock outrage. So what we all know what we are about to see, the real question, the real thing that Americans need to be focused on is why. My Republican colleagues would like me and others to believe that they've suddenly found religion when it comes to misconduct in law enforcement, give me a break. When the FBI is rifling through personal correspondence of people of color, when law enforcement tries to push policies to limit the freedom of people practicing a different religion, or unjustly pursuing people in cars who look like Philando Castile or my children, or who are just going about their business, or breaking down the doors of people's homes like Breonna Taylor, do you think my Republican colleagues care about that? They don't bat an eye. But when the FBI investigates conservative Christian white men who are actually threatening violence, 
Suddenly, my Republican colleagues are rushing to defund the police. The reason we're here today is because Chairman Jordan wants to make America Trump again. My Republican colleagues aren't here representing their constituents, not my constituents. They're representing Donald Trump. They're acting as his defense attorney, his campaign operative, and everything in between. This committee, this select committee, is a clearinghouse for testing conspiracy theories for Donald Trump to use in his 2024 presidential campaign. What's clear from these hearings is that Donald Trump knows just as well as I do that the danger to him and his MAGA movement is the rule of law. That's why this committee is working so hard to undermine the rule of law. That's why Donald Trump asked Jordan and others on this committee to waste our time and taxpayer money, ask the Speaker of the House to attack the Manhattan District Attorney, Alvin Bragg, for having the audacity to indict the former president on 34 counts of fraud. And that's why this committee hasn't given up its stolen election talking points. And now, here we are today, going after the FBI on Donald Trump's behalf. This is not a committee on the weaponization of government. This is a committee for the weaponization of government. This select committee is clearly focused on undermining law enforcement so extremists can undermine our elections through corruption and control our government through threats of political violence. I hope Democrats, as well as Republicans, watch and listen this morning, because this hearing will demonstrate far better than any opening statement ever could that outside of Washington, the real divide in America is not between Democrats and Republicans. It's between people who love this country, who believe in the rule of law, who want to follow the law, and those who will fight to make our union more perfect, and the people who want to tear it down the rule of law and betray our Constitution for personal as well as political gain. I yield back.